this is something I want to improve how I dealt with it. If you look at the bottom of this knuckle here, and of course this is where the energy of the whipping actually transfers to the hammer. There's a little indentation here from wear of the jack, this square thing. Of course, when you press the key, the jack goes up. But if this is not resting flush against the window of the whipping, then there will be a delay between when you press the key and when it raises the hammer, which that's not ideal. So these have to be brought flush. You could do it a variety of ways. You could tap them with a hammer uh, or uh, gently and shape it that way, or you could sand it or both. So I'm going to try some, some, a little, just a little bit better dressing of the, uh, of these hammers and uh, see how it goes. It's a small point. I uh, certainly would have been a little better off to deal with this when I had them off, but oh well. So I just want to take, I can take them one at a time like this and just make sure that uh, that edge is off as best I can do it. Now what I say, hit them with a hammer. Let me explain a little bit about what that means. So one question I have is, where, where does it hit? It's really kind of the under area here is where it contacts. Let me uh, grab a hammer here. Let's see if I can. That's a good method, too. I have other types of shapers, too. I have other tools I can use that would make this easier. 